And we turn now to Dr. Marisa Weiss. She's the chief medical officer at breastcancer.org, mm -hmm. director of breast radiation oncology at Lankano Medical Center, and also a breast cancer survivor herself, mm -hmm. Dr. Yes. Weiss. Dr. Weiss. Good morning yes, to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, with all the caveats that this is, you know, experimental and 10 years away potentially, mm -hmm. yes. it is hope. Uh, it is hope. What are the implications of this? Well, this is very exciting. I mean, I take care of these patients in the hospital. This is very real. Um, this type of breast cancer is more deadly. It is more likely to happen in young women, people of color, and people who with a BRCA1 inherited genetic mutation. Plus, the reality is, is that it disproportionately affects, you know, all those people. And it's their lives that are at stake, right? Mm -hmm. And the reality is, is that it, it affects these young families, so we absolutely need, need new treatment options that are going to be more promising for the future. People may be looking at this and saying, great, vaccine, breast cancer, they right. see this as the magic bullet. But right. this, as we were saying, it just hits this kind of targeted group, and the people who are being tested have already been through cancer, and this is to That's prevent right. remission, right? That's I mean, right. This, this treatment follows the standard of care that is currently in place, uh -huh. chemo, surgery, radiation, a lot of hard work. And the goal here is to try to reduce the risk of recurrence in these patients who have a higher risk yeah. of having breast cancer come back and threaten their lives. So when you're talking about a vaccine, I mean, it's been years to even get to this mm -hmm. point yes. for this particular trial, which is now going to start in humans. Yes. But it could be 10 years. Why does it take so long? I mean, I think some of us mm -hmm. now, we've, we've just seen a COVID vaccine develop overnight, mm -hmm. essentially, right. which We've, was pretty rare itself. Absolutely. We've been spoiled by the COVID vaccine. Yeah. And we also have the vaccine against cervical cancer. Yeah. So that's definitely a reality. It's mm -hmm. time for a vaccine for people with breast cancer, right? And this is hope on the horizon. But it can take years for an early study like this to turn into a treatment that's available for the public. But that's why it's so important to do these clinical trials. So if you are someone out there who's dealing with cancer and making treatment decisions, yeah. Ask your doctor if there's a clinical trial that is right for you. Can we say just time frame for us? We've got young daughters. Do you think that this is something our young daughters will see in their lifetime? I sure hope so. And I have a daughter, too. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone out there is affected by someone with breast cancer, particularly this type of breast cancer. So I think, you know, five to ten years for maybe something like this to come along. But who knows? Maybe we can accelerate the availability of these treatments when we really give more attention to clinical trials and aim higher to save more lives. We were just saying the science is amazing. You said it's dazzling. Yeah. It is I dazzling. Yeah. You know, it's exciting to be a doctor right now. I've yeah. seen a lot of miracles, and we need another one for women yeah. with triple negative breast yeah. cancer. Yeah. I sure Weiss. do. Thank Dr. you so much Thank for your you for time and perspective. Thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.